y'all welcome back it's Corey. so today we are back with another makeup tutorial today i'm feeling very like berry vibes and like purples and everything and the inspiration came from the morphe and jaclyn hill collab with her vault palettes i picked up the palette in the tone bling boss or the the name of the palette is Bling Boss and it just has these really, really pretty berry shades and purples in here. Um, I said purple because this purple right here is what really made me want to get this palette. I swatched it in Ulta and I was like, oh my God, it looks amazing. So I have to get that one. I'm also going to use the OG, the Jaclyn Hill palette. I think this palette was was and is still is a key pile that I think every woman should have in their collection. You can get so many looks from this palette, y'all. Like, look at this. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Those are the two eyeshadow palettes I'm gonna use. I'm also gonna use some new makeup products that I've just been using over this break that I've taken from YouTube. All right, so before we start with our makeup, we wanna start with skincare. And uh, first, we're gonna drink some H2O because my mouth's a little dry. Alright, so before we start with any makeup, we want to start off with our base and skincare. So the first thing that I like to use on my face is a Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I like to use the Skin Science um, Hydrating Face Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. Hyaluronic Acid is going to alleviate your dry skin. And being that where I live, it is starting to get very, very cold here. And like the fall weather is here. I'm absolutely loving it, but my skin is hating it. So I have to make sure I keep that moisture in my face that I have so I put this on at night before I go to sleep and I also put this on before I put anything on top of my face so yes I like to put on two serums I'm gonna use the Farsali Unicorn Essence serum as well I like this stuff too it gives my skin like a specific glow that I feel like I can't get from another another product I like to pair it with that hyaluronic serum as well and it just makes my skin feel so soft so next i'm gonna go in with the smith's rosebud lip salve and i'm gonna put this on my crusty old lips all right so next i just got hip and just got put on on how to wear this product i thought it was a makeup finishing spray and it's definitely not so i'm gonna apply this like miss jackie o said she said that you apply it on your face and well she said that she likes to apply it on her face and then you know tap it in she said she got this information straight from tatcha so we're gonna listen to auntie jackie day and then we're just gonna pat that in our skin like auntie jackie said okay and now our face has went from crusty to luminous all right, so next we're gonna go into brows. Of course, I'm gonna do these off camera, but I'm definitely gonna tell you what I'm using. So I'm going to use first, I'm gonna use Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, and then I'm gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Brownie Cocoa Powder Brow Pencil. I'm gonna go fill in my brows, and then I'll be back. Okay, so our brows are on. Next we're gonna go in and clean up our brows using our NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Ginger. Is, it's a good brow day. So we're gonna go back into this face and we're gonna go ahead and prime. So for primer, first I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Photo <laughs> I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Riser. It is a primer mixed with a moisturizer and it feels beautiful on the skin. I'm gonna go in with the Dr. Brandt Pores No More and I'm just gonna put that in my nose and like my T-zone area because I really like the blurring effect that this primer gives my face. Alright, so after we are done with our brows, next we are going to go in with our Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm in the shade Mocha, and y'all, let me tell y'all something. This is like one of my favorite foundations. I don't know what I would sleep on with this foundation or what I was waiting on, because this foundation has been out for a minute, and I think I was waiting on Jackie to release her shades for the foundation to start. Mm-hmm. Um, because I had went and tried to get this foundation from Ulta and the lady was like, oh, I can't match you. I can't find your shade or whatever. Maybe you should just wait till Jackie release her shade. Then maybe you'll find one more suitable. So Alyssa Ashley is my shade reference for all of my foundations and all of my concealers and everything. And she said that we were shade mocha. So I go in the store and 
they've had mocha this whole time so I feel played but that's them consultants for you okay so next I'm gonna use to blend out this foundation because we look a mess um, I'm gonna use a sponge that has been breaking the beauty community and it's the Sonia Kashuk uh, beauty sponge y'all when I tell y'all this sponge is literally amazing and if you don't have it you should go get it So next we're going to go into concealer. So for concealer, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Sculpting Concealer in the shade Sand. Um, this is another new purchase that I've gotten. And, um, I've had it for a minute, so I can tell you guys how I actually like this concealer. I think it's a great concealer. I think it has very full coverage. I think it's very creamy. So going in to blend out that concealer, I'm gonna use another sponge that broke the beauty industry. It's the Morphe um, Face Sculpting Sponge. I can't remember the exact name, but it's this sponge right here. I actually started and ordered this sponge because of Jackie, not Jackie Anna, um, Jaclyn Hill. Um, she was the first person that I saw using this sponge so you know how your sponge really don't work until you put a little tender love and care into it and you squeeze it and you know it's, it become a little used that's when it starts feeling better and it starts working better for you next we're gonna go in with the derma blend um loose setting powder i really like this powder and it's just a translucent one i really like this powder the influencer that put me on to this was patrick star so next we're gonna go into our eyeshadow and i told you guys the main focus is gonna be on the morphe jacqueline hill fault palette i guess you guys can just watch and say I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I know I'm going to start off with my Morphe R37 brush. I'm going to start off with the shade Hush Hush. I'm going to go ahead and just put that in my crease. And I did set my lids. Um, I tried to do the whole trend where you don't you don't set your lid and stuff. But um, yeah, that, that don't work for me. Um, my lids are extremely too shiny for that. And next, we're going to take that same brush and we're gonna go in with the shade rockstar like so we're just gonna add that in make that deeper and then i'll be back all right so this is how the eye is looking as you guys can see it is like a little patchy and it's a little all over the place but hopefully it will come together in the end but i'm gonna take the morphe e36 brush it's like a little it's like a little pencil brush, so if you have a pencil brush, you can use that. And then I'm going to take um, that Rockstar shade, tap off the excess, and then I'm going to go in my lower lash line and just connect that right there. Then I'm going to go in with my Morphe M306 brush, and I'm just going to, it's nothing on this, I'm just going to try to buff that out a little bit. And I'm actually going to go in and deepen that up. And I'm going to take my Morphe B81 brush. And I'm going to take this deep shade. And I'm going to take this deep shade in the Jaclyn Hill Original Palette. This is kind of giving me a Halloween vibe. Maybe we should call it like a Halloween purple look or something. Okay. So this is what our eye... It's looking like so far let's go in and let's cut the crease because I think that's gonna add a lot to this eyes okay so I'm gonna sculpt out my cut crease and I'm gonna do everything that I did on this eye on this eye and I will be back that's bling bling and I think that'll look really pretty on the lid so we're gonna do bling bling Ooh, yeah yeah dust away that powder that we have under here i'm going to take a little bit of that derma blend powder as well and then i'm just going to go along the edge and just stamp it right here right there just to clean that up a little bit we're not going to clean it up with concealer we're actually just going to clean it up with powder and i'm going to use the black radiant soft focus finishing powder in the shade in golden almond and i'm just going to go in and i'm just going to set my face with this morphe m430 brush and i'm going to take my Too faced dark chocolate soleil bronzer and i'm just going to bronze up my face so stone is a habit. Put it in the hair. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Morphe M500 brush and I'm gonna use this Tarte 
blush in the shade party or party i got this for free for my birthday so that's the only reason why i'm using it other than that <laughs> y'all know it's up at tight but uh, i'm gonna use that with my m500 brush and i usually don't wear blush i don't know if it's just me i always thought blush was like a older woman thing um so i never would wear it or never put it on but i'm gonna try to see what it looks like with this purpley look that we have going on today so i'm just gonna get a little bit on my brush and we gonna shall see that yes so i decided to use a pinky highlight today i'm going to be using the wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder in the shade precious petals and to put that on i'm going to be using my morphe m510 brush my oh, look at that that looks so pretty oh my gosh now i gotta go buy like five blushes it just gives your face like that natural redness that you kind of just take out when you apply the foundation and you apply your concealer and the powder and everything it just gives your face that balance that you need and i really like it so next is mascara so i'm going to use the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise this is a waterproof mascara we're going to do these lower lashes and then we are going to put on some lashes and i'll be back for our lip all right so lashes really make or break a look we have on our lashes we have a mascara last we have to do is our lips so i'm going to go in with the crucifix lip liner by kat von d um chestnut who chestnut is still a great pencil now i ain't knocking you know where i started but it's just so good it's so creamy it's like more of a red brown so if you don't like that you might want to steer away from that um i want to kind of ombre my lip liner because i want to do like a new pink gloss in the middle with like a lipstick and i'm going to use max cork and i'm going to just blend out the crucifix with the cork so next we're going to go in with the Ruby Kisses Brown Sugar Lipstick. I will show y'all this lipstick, but y'all, it, it's, it's a hot mess. The packaging is all over the place. We're going to take NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie, and we're going to put this right in the middle. Ooh, that's pretty. Got a new lip. So last but not least, we're going to use our Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to set our masterpiece. Okay, and this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys did enjoy this video of me just opening up and just talking to you guys about some products that I've been liking to use, some products that I've added into my routine and all that good stuff. So a little final verdict on the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Palette. I think this palette is actually good. It's okay. It's not like the best. It's not, it don't compare to this now. Don't, we, we not gonna take it that far. But it is good for, you know, just to have it's good just to have as like a collector's item if you like to collect makeup like me it's good for that and to occasionally dip into but i definitely think this palette is workable also i did want to let you guys know now i will be filming on tuesdays and thursdays so be expecting the video so you know what I'm saying? Hey, we have a, you know, a routine, a schedule so you guys can know when to come back and when I'll be uploading. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays is when I'll be uploading. Yeah, again, thank you for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. And leave a comment down below about how you feel about this Morphe uh, Vault Palette. We know it was a lot of controversy about it. So leave a comment down below. Tell me how you guys like the palette. And I will see you guys Thursday. Bye, y'all. Oh, my God, y'all. A shade and broke. Oh. Is it just one? No, no. Rest in peace, rest in peace. I will say that, but talk, talk, chuck, talk, chuck. Brush, brush, brush. I decided to use a pinky blush as well. I mean, we are past blush. You are on highlight. Okay, so what I want to add into my videos is like bops of the week. So I'm gonna give y'all three of my bops that I've been listening to.